Uh, okay, dear students, uh, some of you asking about the uh, how to make a truth table for certain equations. So I will show you one example. Let's see the one or two examples. Okay, so first of all, let's look at this expression here. So as you can see, uh, this is a, we have the three terms here, right? So this is the first term, this is second term, and this is the third term. And they are multiplied by each other. So meaning these are the three sum products connected through the multiplication. So this is the product of sums. Okay, so this is a now POS, product of sums. So meaning we have the three sums and at the end they are attached through the one end gate. Right, so we have the three sums here. So the first one is the A complement, B complement, C complement. Next one is here is the A plus B plus C. And the last one is the A plus B plus C complement. So we have to build a truth table. So what is truth table? Truth table is a table that shows the all the possible outputs of this expression for all the possible inputs. So first we have to build the actual table. Okay, so let's start. So we have the three parameters, three variables, A, B and C. Okay, so we're gonna build a truth table by writing down the, all the possible combinations of the, this ABC. We start with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on. Right, so 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. So if you have the three variables, you will have the 2 power of 3 equal to 8 different possible combinations. So you have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 possible inputs. So now let's find the output. Okay. So one way is you can do it actually is a step by step. So meaning the first you can do the A complement, B complement, C complement. Okay. And find the, all the possible uh, uh, or output for this one first. So let's say, for example, if it's a complement, B complement, and C complement. So I will change this one. Inst instead of X, I will do the A complement, B complement, plus C complement first. Okay, so this is the one way, right? So in this case, if you look, this is a um, sum, right? So we have the A plus B plus C. And as we know, the sum means this is a, the, these three variables are attached to the OR gate. Right, so these are the three attached to the OR gate. And we know the OR gate, okay, so let's draw this OR gate here, right, with three inputs, A complement, B complement, C complement, okay. And we know the OR gate will produce zero only when all the inputs are zero. This is the only case when the OR gate will produce zero. So meaning, if A is equal to one, B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1, output will be 0, right? Because uh, one's complement is 0, 1's complement is 0, another complement is 0, so 0 plus 0 plus 0 will produce, of course, 0. So let's find this one, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 1, 1 is here. So this is the only case when this expression will produce 0. Rest is we just put automatically ones. We don't have to evaluate them. Okay, so rest other cases will be automatically equal to one. Okay, now let's we let's do the same for the a plus b plus c. So a plus b plus c. Okay, so now we evaluate next expression a plus b plus c. Again, same logic. This is a. Uh, this is a, attached to the OR gate, so we know that output will be equal to zero in only and only one case when the all the variables are zero. A equal to zero, b equal to zero, c equal to zero. So meaning this is the case, 0, 0, 0. In this case, the output will be equal to 0. Rest is automatically 1. You don't have to evaluate them. You just put 1s here. And the last one, A plus B plus C complement. Okay, so let's do this one. Again, OR gate. Again, this expression will, uh, will, equal, will be equal to 0 only when A is 0, B is 0, C is 1. So 0, 0, 1. This is the case when this expression will be equal to 0. Let's find this one, 0, 0, 1. So it's here, 0, 0, 1. So in this case, the expression equal to 0. Rest is 1, again. Okay, so now we have the 
uh, output for each of these three terms. Last thing is we do the, we find the x. Okay. In order to find the x, as we know, they attach it through the end gate, right? So we know that whenever there is a chance of the zero, if any of this is equal to zero, the output is automatically zero. So by just looking at this, we know that when the, this one is zero, x is equal to zero, right? Because we're multiplying these three. Whenever there is a zero, output is automatically zero. Whenever there is zero, output is zero, okay? rest is uh, automatically one okay so now this is the truth table for your expression right so these are the inputs so this is the input this part and this is the output so this is the truth table this one and this one together is truth table this is just the intermediary result so you can uh, you know the, just to make it easier to find the x so this is the easier way when you do the step by step next i will show the fastest way okay instead of the step by step i will show you how to do it much more faster